Computer Generated Chess Problem 02519 by Chestetica. White has a queen, rook, and two pawns against black's pair of bishops and pair of pawns. White's queen on f7 is also in a position to be captured, just like the white rook on b4. So, what should white do here? Maybe queen to c7 check to gain a tempo, king to d5, rook to b5, king to d4, queen captures bishop, king captures pawn, rook to b2, maybe bishop to c4, queen captures pawn check, king to c3, and white is going to win this game. However, is that the move to play? Is that the best way to proceed here? Take a careful look. Alright, let's confirm with the engines. So the best way to proceed is actually simply d4 check. Now if king to d6, queen to c7 check, king to d5, and queen captures bishop with mate. If king to d5, queen to b7 check, king to d6, queen to e7 check, and if king to d5 or king to c6, queen captures bishop with mate. So bishop captures pawn. You can think of this as a pawn sacrifice, if you will. And here, white plays queen to g7. Notice how this strangely skewers the king against the bishop. If king to d5, queen captures bishop, king to c6, rook to b6 mates. If king to d6, queen captures bishop as before. If king to c6, rook to b6 mates as before. But if bishop to d5 intervening, the other bishop, the remaining one intervenes, rook to b6 still mates, and the bishop cannot intervene again on c6 because it's pinned against the king. Until next time. Chesthetica's Book of Chess Constructs, Volumes 1 through 5. Available on Amazon.